It was someone that I trusted, you know, someone I thought, you know, loved me. It is beyond belief that that can happen in modern society, that that could be happening in our own community. Right now, Florida ranks third in the nation in human trafficking cases, with most in Miami-Dade County. The vast majority of victims are adult women who have survived the horrific trade of sex trafficking, a billion-dollar industry. And tonight, Local 10's Christina Vasquez has an exclusive rare view into an elite unit at Camilla's house providing recovery care that her survivor says saved her life. <laughs> I got away, you know, from a horrific situation, a devastating situation. Many of our victims, in fact, were trafficked since the time they were minors um, and continued to be trafficked. Nestled in the Camillas House campus. It took a lot of me, a lot out of me to say, hey, I can be independent again. Is the pioneering Project Phoenix Recovery Unit. Serving adults over the age of 18 who are survivors of human trafficking. The people who trafficked you, where are they now? In jail. Born from the organization answering a call for assistance. Any victim. From Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office, explains CEO Hilda Fernandez. Uh, when they broke down these human trafficking rings and they had no place to take these adult victims. And uh, how I got rescued, um, State Attorney, she found me and she brought me here. Focused on helping adults. You're talking about the equivalent of modern day human slavery who have escaped the clutches of brutal human traffickers. In some occasions have been sold by family members into this life. Mend a broken spirit and unlock the courage to chart their own paths forward. I hate to hear people say we ask for it because we didn't ask to be exploited. We didn't ask to be abused. She survived more than a decade of being held captive. Her biggest challenge when she first arrived here, she says, trying to fall asleep. I didn't know if he was going to find me again or had some people out there, you know, that's lurking, looking for me. Hello? The moment she realized it was safe. What you doing? That it was possible to dream of a better future. Love. I can feel the love. Love, as in Mary Love. We house 16 individuals right who oversees now. the unit and explains how they uncovered this vulnerable population required a range of care. I'm starting a new job. Wow. You know, this position. Way to go. Thank you. When they come in, their their self-esteem is just beat. They, they they're hopeless. Arriving displaced, traumatized, controlled emotionally, physically, sometimes through forced drug use. It's a self-contained space. It's designed differently than all of our other spaces here. Survivors here have access to a variety of services, from substance abuse treatment, individual and group therapy. I was able to become part of a family of girls who've been through the same thing that I've been through. To life skills coaching, job placement assistance, and a pathway to permanent housing. A whole swing of things. All right, yes. that's what I'm talking about. And love in their corner, cheering them on. I talk with them to let, you know, give them hope that this this what happened to you is not your fault. You can't keep blaming yourself, but what we can do is work through some of that trauma and try to get you back on track. This was, you know, really an opportunity for us to really address what has regrettably become a growing issue in our in our country. I'm just happy I got my independence back. Never give up. You know, there's hope. At Camilla's house, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News. And for more information on the Miami-Dade State Attorney's Human Trafficking Task Force, you can head to local10.com, where you'll find a link to different resources, including the county's hotline.